It's been six months since Nexigo launched the Aurora Pro. In that time, we've been collecting feedback from your reviews and comments with the goal of finding new ways to improve our product. So today, we want to provide you with a summary of all the Aurora Pro improvements and firmware updates that we've implemented in the past few months. One consistent piece of feedback that we've received ever since the Aurora Pro was first released is that image modes should be fully customizable. Now, with the latest firmware update, you can adjust all presets individually without switching to the custom mode every time you make a change. We aim to deliver the best out-of-the-box color accuracy without professional calibration. However, it's important to optimize your image settings since the light, layout, and screen type in your media room may differ from our calibration lab. We recommend adjusting the image settings of 3D mode based on the type of screen you have. If you have a Fresnel screen, set the gain of red, green, and blue to 51, 35, and 48 respectively. Set all offset values to 49. If you're using a lenticular or a low gain screen, set the gain of red, green, and blue to 55, 35, and 48 respectively. Set all offset values to 49. For more guidance, we recommend visiting AVS Forum to find and discuss the best settings for the Aurora Pro. You'll also find that we've redesigned the volume icon and positioned it on the right-hand side of the screen. This adjustment ensures that the icon is less intrusive and less likely to disrupt your viewing experience. We have also added a custom option under Audio Mode so that you can equalize the audio yourself. Fine Keystone Adjustment is another feature that we're excited to bring to the Aurora Pro. With this update, you'll be able to make more precise adjustments to your projection, enabling you to scale your image perfectly to your screen. Normal or coarse keystone adjustment is still available for when you need to make larger corrections. We've also added the option to use your own images to adjust the focus on the Aurora Pro. To access this feature, open Settings, navigate to General, and set the Settings button to Focus. Now, you can press the Settings button at any time to adjust the focus using the image currently on screen, whether you're using preset images or your own focus pattern. Additionally, Low Latency Mode is now available as an option in all image modes. Previously, Low Latency Mode was only available within Gaming Mode, but now you can enjoy reduced latency across the board, though Gaming Mode will still offer the lowest latency. Before you enable Low Latency, please keep in mind that this setting will disable Keystone Correction and 3D Content. You must disable low latency before you can watch 3D content. If desired, you can enable low latency mode individually for specific HDMI ports. For instance, you can activate low latency for your gaming console on HDMI 3, but leave it off for your TV stick on HDMI 1. We've also added a new maintenance feature, Dust Removal Mode. Run Dust Removal in the settings to automatically expel dust from the projector. It's recommended to run this once a month, or once every 200 hours of use. If the projector is powered off by another device using HDMI CEC, you will now receive an on-screen notification. We've also introduced a native 50p mode to enhance support for PAL content, ensuring smoother motion playback. And finally, we have made it so that the Aurora Pro will automatically detect when you're watching 3D movies in frame packing format. This means that when the projector detects 3D video, it will automatically enable 3D viewing so that you no longer need to go through the menu to turn it on. First, we removed the variable refresh rate setting because customers have experienced consistent issues with this setting enabled. But hang tight, we're actively working with the chipset manufacturer to fix the software bugs causing these issues. We hope to bring variable refresh rates back soon. We've also removed the App Store due to a lack of functionality within the apps. You can still sideload certain apps by APK using a computer. However, for the best experience, we strongly recommend everyone to get a TV stick for accessing streaming apps. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions for us, feel free to reach out at csnexigo.com. We're committed to bringing more exciting features to the Aurora Pro and making it the best choice for your home theater.